Hello team, today we're looking at a fast-paced 2D action game. It's Valdis Story, Abyssal City, available on Steam and Desera. Developed by Endless Fluff Games, Valdis Story, Abyssal City chronicles the tales of Wyatt and Reyna caught in the middle of a war between angels and demons. While chasing down some big-name demon general across an ocean, Wyatt and his crew are caught in a huge natural disaster that lands them in a hidden underwater city. Unfortunately, the war has extended to this hidden locale as well, and now Wyatt must gather his wayward team and try to solve the mysteries of the Abyss City. Valda's story was funded entirely by Kickstarter, and after a relatively quick campaign, made it to Steam through Greenlight as well. Valda's story plays out like a 2D action-adventure game, and I have to say that the guys at Endless Fluff did a really good job with it. Combat is just outright fantastic. You start out with light and heavy attacks, along with magic and launchers, though magic is somewhat awkward to work with initially. As you progress through the game, you get more cool things like assists and cancels in order to expand the dynamic of combat. When you start getting a hand at the mechanics, you begin exploring new tricks and wind up discovering crazy techniques like stealth damage spikes and launcher cancel loops. Combat is supplemented by an RPG system which gives you added effects to your attacks such as MP Leech, Perfect Guard, and Armor Rend. All this makes combat very dynamic and engaging, which is complemented by bosses that have their own devious tricks and heated combos to test how well you know the game. Everything comes together in such a way that makes Valdistory a fantastic game to play. Now while combat is something Valdistory does great, the platforming is a bit hit or miss. Valdistory has a very tight system when it comes to momentum and air maneuvering that fits well and shines well in combat. But when I'm platforming I begin to see problems. Things such as ledge climbing or precise platforming can get frustrating in this game because jumping is somewhat awkward to steer. Ledge climbing is probably the thing that messed me up a lot, mainly because the difference between climbing a ledge and jumping to another wall is a mere flick of the direction stick. And when you're used to holding a direction in combat, you can mess this up quite often. Most of these problems arise if you ever do optional stuff though, you rarely see this issue pop up in the main story, which is kind of relieving. The platforming is goofy, but not so much that it takes away from the enjoyment of the game. Valda's story is presented in a 2D hand-drawn art style, and I have to say this is probably one of my favorite aspects of the game. The character art is somewhat of an acquired taste, but everything else about the game just looks gorgeous. The environments are very well detailed and have a beautiful mix of color and style to them, and the character designs are somewhat simple, but with enough distinct details to set apart the various races along with the main cast of the game. The music helps to complement this by helping to set the tone of each area alongside the visuals. One thing that stunned me about the game was how well it looked in motion. With both well done animations and decent particle effects, this game looks absolutely gorgeous as you play it. It's really hard to believe that this is an indie game given how good it looks. My only gripe is that the game doesn't scale well visually. If you ever decide to upscale the game or play it full screen, the game stretches out the pixels, giving the game a blocky look and detracting from its gorgeous hand-drawn aesthetic. Aside from that, this game is a visual masterpiece. Valda's story chronicles a harrowing tale of betrayal, revenge, mystery, and suspense. There's just one slight problem, we don't exactly know why. Abyssal City, oddly enough, is the continuation of a tech demo that Endless Fluff never actually finished, which can leave the player somewhat confused when it comes to actual plot. The writing itself is great, and I enjoy many of the dialogues the protagonists have with some bosses and some NPCs, but I still feel lost when it comes to the actual plot of the game. Endless Fluff did their best to remedy this with a lore tab that chronicles key background information, but this only does so much, and I still feel like integrating the old tech demo as a sort of playable tutorial would have serviced the game far better. Though Valda's story does a fantastic job with gameplay and visuals, their story is somewhat awkward, and I feel like it's one of the weakest points of the game. The game engine itself is another Achilles heel for Valda's story. The engine is surprisingly CPU intensive at times, which caused a lot of problems with some of my recording software. Valda's story also doesn't seem to play nice with other Flash-based programs, slowing to a miserable crawl if I have something like a YouTube video or a stream playing elsewhere on my computer. These problems shouldn't apply to the average player, though. If you're just playing the game by itself, then it's actually quite stable and has little, if any, problems. The options menu is also somewhat odd. For music and sound effects, we don't have sliders to control the levels, just an on-off switch. 
The game window also doesn't have accurate resolution control, but rather it has half size, normal size, or double size options. The game engine isn't bad, it just feels kind of clumsy, and I feel like they left out functions that could have easily been put in. Despite the game's technical issues, I could definitely recommend Valdistory if you're a fan of action games. I was genuinely shocked to see how well this game played. Endless Fluff certainly delivered with their Kickstarter funding. The devs are also constantly working on the game to deliver new content and optimize the game engine further. There's also a demo floating around on their main site if you're ever on the fence about the game itself. If you're looking for a good, challenging game with rock-solid mechanics and satisfying combat, then Valdistory is definitely for you.